everybody it's Millie with crafting in my PJs welcome to my channel this channel is dedicated to quick easy crafts that anybody can do without any artistic talent and hopefully you have some fun while you're doing it right all right well I'm sitting on the floor in the craft room because my new desk is getting ready to be delivered today so that means tonight I'll be putting it together because Oh, I got, a, I got a string on my shorts that are tickling me. Um, because uh, today is my day off, and um, I will have lots of babies the next couple of days, so I want to get it put together. And I have to see about the chair with it. Now, I know this chair has seen better days, and it actually collapsed on me in a video the other day. But I do like it. <coughs> and... So I'll have to see if it works because the desk is higher. The, and then I'm going to raise this uh, counter here so it's the same height as the desk. But I'm going to leave the counter on that side of the room at normal chair height because that's where my sewing machine will go. And, you know, you have to hit it with the foot pedal. So I'll need to be in a regular size chair in order to hit that foot pedal. So that's the plan. So while I was sitting here, kind of organizing and getting things together for the build in a little while, and let me just say, I've got the coffee, and this is one of my favorite coffee mugs. It's a Starbucks one, and it says, I listed Starbucks as my emergency contact at work. Yep, there you go. I stress my husband out when we go through the Starbucks line. I try to just mobile order but he, he completely falls apart when I start with sugar-free skinny, skinny latte with soy. You know, usually it's a um, skinny, skinny latte, skinny vanilla latte, skinny sugar-free vanilla latte with soy. That's usually what I get. And he can't handle all of those skinny, sugar-free soys. He can't handle all of that. So, um... I don't subject him to that too often. All right, so what I wanted to show you was every crafter has crafting tools. Yes, maybe it's just a glue gun and a pair of scissors. Maybe it's a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> Depends on who you are and what you do and how much space you have. But every person should have a toolbox. And I have a separate toolbox than my husband because he says I lose his stuff. And I, I don't understand that. I think he loses his own stuff. So I have decided I needed my own. Now, am I doing, am I doing major construction stuff like my husband does around the house and need heavy duty? No, but I do need some tools here and there. So I have a cabinet in my crafting area and I will show you right now. Ta -da! All right, and so in that cabinet, I use these white tubs. Uh, you can get them at both Walmart and at uh, Dollar Tree, they're at both. They're dish pans, they're just dish pans. I think this one is a Walmart one. It's Essentials, and it says dishpan. And so they fit nice inside of those little cubes. And those cubes are originally recollections from Michaels. Uh, currently, Michaels has a new style out, and they're a little bit bigger. But these fit in there. And it's nice because it's open, but it's large enough that it holds my tools. I could get a tool box, but that'll have a lid, you know, the lid, and and I really just like this open concept. So, so what kind of tools do I have from Dollar Tree that are going in my tub? Well, I have I have a mallet. Now, um, these are great. I use these to put together the uh, IKEA shelves just the other day, and it works great so far. It had this, this part hasn't come off of this part, so everything seems to be working okay. 
All right, so I have a mallet and I have a ruler. These are all from Dollar Tree that I'm showing you right now. And all of them you can find in, <coughs> I'm having some allergy issues. I forgot to take Claritin the last couple of days and so now I'm all gross. Um, you can find them in the hardware section at Dollar Tree. So there's a square ruler, which is great for, you know, doing the square kind of things. Inches on one side, metric on the other. Great for those that, you know, might need some metric every now and then in their life. Some gloves, some work gloves. And yes, I do wear these occasionally. Mostly when I'm working with my husband. We have a camp that we're building. We're building out a garden shed into a cabin for us at, on, at, on this land. And so when I'm working with him and it's more heavy duty wood, I do wear this or when even sometimes I'm cutting wood. Sometimes gloves just come in handy and you want to have a pair that you can find that work for you. So I'm small, I'm short, and I have very fat, short hands. And so I was able to get, Dollar Tree had these wonderful ones in sizes. So I did, I don't have too much finger left over, which makes it very stable for me to do work. Um, if I have, if the gloves are too big and they're flopping around on my hands, um, I'm not really doing a great job stability wise for working on whatever we're doing. Um, I always make sure in my toolkit I have cable ties from Dollar Tree and they they come in black and white but they also come there's a multi-pack with a bunch of colors and sometimes you can find the longer ones and so if I find the really long ones I get those too because those darn things come in handy for everything so um, sandpaper they come in a pack this one that was already open they come in a pack like this there's a variety of different um, grits and they work great in a block sander so I had a block sander from Dollar Tree and I lost it maybe my husband borrowed it and that's why it's not here anyway I can still wrap these around a piece of wood if I need the stability. But I also like these sanding sponges, especially in paper crafting. So if I just need to get something smooth or if I need a little bit more intense, I can take these square and kind of wrap it around the sponge and use that. So sandpaper. Sandpaper is, you can, you, you like, you wouldn't know you need it until all of a sudden you need it and you don't have it. So it's there. I also bought myself this little hacksaw. Now I've been trying to find at Dollar Tree a small miter box so that I can do corners on wood. Haven't been able to find the miter box. Found a miter box somewhere else, but it's huge. And it was like 10 bucks, the miter box I found. And it doesn't fit in my box. And so... I'm still on the lookout for a tiny miter box from Dollar Tree, and I'm sure I'll run across it one day. Safety glasses. Now, these seem silly, but when you're cutting or stapling or nailing or screwing, you really, look at my, my selfie light. I'll put it in the middle. Ah. You really want safety first. And so, and then when all of a sudden you think, I really should have even cutting wire. You know, if you're doing something with wire, <laughs> you know, glasses. And then you go, I really should have a pair of safety glasses. And then you don't know where they are. If you have a pair in your box, in your toolbox, you'll know where they are. A level. I'm getting ready to put, um, I found my last pegboard that I needed to put on the wall behind my printer. And I am going to use a level. I'm going to make sure... My other one is at the camp because I think this one back there is just slightly off, but I'm not sure. And okay, so a tape measure. Now, I'm sure you have tape measures um, 
if you're a sewer, you have the 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 flimsy kind. We have rulers. But these come in handy like especially I've been redoing this room, rearranging and adding furniture. And and the tape measure has really come in handy and I was using the the flimsy sewing tape measure and my husband's like would you just go get my tape measure which he means something like this but his is bigger and longer um it'll be more accurate like it's a tape measure inches are the same but i think he means because it's not as flexible so i would get a better feel so anyway a tape measure really good to have all right let's see i love these i i I get them and I lose them because I use them on everything but some sort of cl clamps now this is in the craft section but they're good for crafting but they're also good if you're doing some minor building now they don't open up that far so if you couldn't find some furniture type clamps like clamps that you would use they're on a long strip and they have like the this I use my husband's see back here my my picture of castle of Chateau de Bois my frame broke it might be this side it's one of those corners I can't see from here my frame broke while I was moving furniture around and um, I glued it back together and I really needed one of those clamps to hold it to dry because I've got a space now. So um, I'm going to take it down and I'm going to redo it. And um, I borrow my husband's, but I really want my own because I'm really into having um, my own so I don't get blamed for breaking or losing his. Um, the other thing I have purchased, oh, are these little scrapers and they have come in handy. I've got one out in the crafting stuff. But when you're trying to get paint off of something or glue off of something, these work beautifully. So I keep those in there. Same with this, this wire. Um, sometimes this wire comes in great for crafting, but sometimes just for minor building that you're doing in your crafting. Great. Now, um, you know, this is pretty. Oh, oh, I haven't opened this yet. I found it. The other day and I decided I wanted it um, is just a knife and you have to be 18 or older to buy it it's a folding knife I don't do that well so we're just gonna leave it oh no that's dangerous um oh oh you press see why I don't do this well it's because my hands don't work really well all right so it's just a knife Knives come in handy. Opening up those Amazon boxes. Hmm. Good for that. And good to have your own that you can get to. All right. And very standard um, screwdrivers, both Flathead and Phillips. Um, they are important. So um, a couple of different sizes. So I've got two of each right here. And it's nice because they also have the small as for versus the long because sometimes you need to get into tiny places so you need that short so and then i saw this and i went ahead and got it i have i have another one that's older um and it's basically a multi-tool where it has multi tips and you place it in there and it's kind of magnetic and so it, it's just a multi-tool so you get not only um Phillips and flathead, but you get the other a couple of other shapes too. <coughs> so sometimes you need that. All right, uh, duct tape. Duct tape's always a winner. You use it, you just never know you're going to use it. If you make any kind of journals, um, if you're into junk journaling or bookmaking, um, sometimes duct tape is great for holding things together underneath your decorative stuff. And then this is painter's tape, and I use painter's tape a lot. Now, because it's the inexpensive tool shack, tool bench, painter's tape, um, you have to double check if it's going to stick well. If you're doing something where you're 
painters taping and you're leaving it for a while and then coming back um, my daughter they taped off a room to paint and when they came back it was all falling down but when I use these for making resin products or glitter products I'm peeling off right away and it's beautiful it works great so I always pick up a roll and have an extra roll now um, oh and clear tape too clear packing tape comes in handy in crafting as well as in life for a lot of things all right now here's some stuff that I'm looking around here's some things that I didn't have number one a hammer I had a hammer I lost my hammer when I was putting together the the bookcases so it's it's somewhere I just can't figure out where I stashed it. it might be on top of the birdcage I have to go look in the hall okay and the other thing is whenever I run across these I buy these at Dollar Tree and they come in a set there's let's see I mean I know I don't have them all in here because I also have them on top of my desk in a container but they're teeny tiny screwdrivers and there's Phillips and Flathead to get those battery compartments off of different electronics this is what you need so I always get those I keep them kind of a, an assortment of them in a box and that goes with my tools too this is another thing I get now that was from Dollar Tree those little ones <coughs> you can find them other places too but that's from Dollar Tree so this is something I purchased I'm pretty sure at Walmart and it's a light staple gun um, my hands do not work really well I have some arthritis in my hands so my husband's heavy-duty staple guns are not necessary for things I might be building in my craft room like um, you know stapling ribbon to a piece of wood or something like that but this light when I can handle it it's light I can handle it I can I can reload it without asking how you do this again and um, it works great for simple craft building type things so a staple gun good thing to have in your arsenal another thing that I have just upgraded myself on so we talked about the hammer because I can't find my hammer right okay so I have one more thing and I got this from Timu and of course you can get these everywhere in all different degrees of um, quality mine came from Timu because I got it for free playing the fish game so I'm not gonna look a gift screw gun in the mouth um, it is cordless so it charges this is the only battery pack here's the charger it plugs straight into the wall um, it came with both uh, these thingamajingies and then it also came with these thingamajingies and I have finally learned how to change out the tips myself I don't remember but I know I can do it now because I have to keep going to ask my husband this brand is a Hilda it is I'm sure not a, a, a top quality brand I mean it came from Timu and it was free but it's pink so I definitely know this is mine besides my husband has craftsmen pretty much everything is craftsmen that he has um, it's pink it key I keep it it comes came in a bag I keep it in my craft room I hang it on the door I have a door organizer and I hang it on the door and it has come in so handy I did use it to put together the shelves even though you don't have to having hand problems um, and I don't have the upper body strength to like dig these these suckers in and um, really damage anything so as long as I was careful putting together that ready to assemble furniture with something electric I was okay um, but and it saved my hands and so so I love my my uh, uh, my cordless um, electric drill thing 
screw gun, whatever. But I put that in a different place. All right, so that is it on my toolbox. Is there anything else you have in your toolbox that's you, not your husband or your partners, but yours? Is there anything else that you have that is like absolute, oh, wire cutters. Every crafter needs a pair of wire cutters. Mine are missing. But every crafter needs a pair of wire cutters. And those, I mean, just for cutting wire, for snipping things while you're crafting, as well as maybe a little bit of craft building. So wire cutters. So I'm missing my hammer and I'm missing my wire cutters. Those are, and like pliers. I do have a pair of pliers. Um, and I use them, um, I have like, these are my husband's old ones and he hasn't asked for them back yet. So we put them in the box. All right, and that's it. And all of my stuff, let's see if I can get you down. There it is, right there. It all fits inside of here. And my door closes and it actually says tools on there because again, I've been organizing. And so there you go, all nifty, put away. I have it for when I need it, and it's a wonderful thing. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed your uh, Dollar Tree tool haul for today. And um, let me know in the comments below if you have anything in your toolkit that's just for you and nobody else uh, that you couldn't live without. And also, please consider giving the video a thumbs up, a like, and subscribing to my channel. I would appreciate it. All right, guys, y'all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you later. Bye.